So, I want to share a story with you guys. Me and my friend Alaska had been going estate shopping a lot lately. Well, we had gone to this one house um, not too long ago, and this woman had some really cool stuff. They had some great books and some great furniture, really cool vinyl. She was selling everything in the house. Um, she said, you know, that it was kind of an emotional experience, you know, you can imagine selling everything you own. She, you could tell she was, she was kind of upset about the whole situation. She was kind of bummed out. Well, after we had looked through the whole house, I turned the corner and there was this beautiful piano, this beautiful oak piano with a really, really beautiful wood pattern. I asked the woman if I could play it, and she said, yeah, sure, go ahead. You know, it was my husband's and it hadn't been played for a while. Uh, well, she left the room, I sat down, um, kind of started playing around a little bit. So I started playing piano. and. Not long after that, the lady who I later learned, her name was Phyllis, she came around the corner. Oh my heavens! Did you play one for me? <laughs> Just excited as could be. And she asked me to play a song for her, so of course I did. Well, I started playing and you could immediately tell she became so happy. and you can tell she just kind of lit up. Her friend came in the room, gave her a huge hug, and you could tell they were just really excited. Then they began dancing around the room, and um, it was very, very exciting. With my experience playing piano growing up, I got in trouble playing a lot because, you know, a piano is really loud and having it in the house. People are on the phone, people are watching TV, other people are doing homework, and it's just kind of loud to have in the house. And I play piano kind of loud. So um, it was kind of cool because this woman, you can tell immediately, she just lit up and she was so excited. As we were leaving the house, her friend came up to me and said, thank you. You know, this has been the happiest she's been in a really long time. And I got a little teary-eyed, and I told her, you know, you're welcome. You're so welcome. Thank you for letting me play. And I don't know, it was just really, really cool to see, you know, how music and how my love for music could be shared with someone. I don't know, it was just really cool to see this woman be brought to life by music. And I can tell that music in the past had made her happy, and I was really, really glad to be able to share that with her. Music is my number one love. It's my number one passion in life. More than art, more than design, more than anything, I love music. And more than music, I love piano. And more than piano, I love sharing music. And so it was just a really, really rewarding experience. Sometimes we question what our purpose in life is and what we're doing here and what we should be doing and you know what we're going to be when we grow up and all this stuff. But I don't know, there are certain times when those things kind of just come together and it, this was one of those times where I felt like something that I enjoy paid off for someone else and I think it's really important to keep doing 
what you love doing. I think that we're all good at something for a reason. My number one goal in life is to do good for people. And if I can do that by playing piano, then I'm, I'm set. So thank you, Phyllis, for letting me play piano for you. You made me a very happy person, and I'm glad I can share it with you.